find the probability of at least two girls. Again, there's that word at least or the phrase at least. And again, at least and at most are two related phrases, but they mean completely different things. Again, at least means that many or more. So in five births, the probability of having two or three or four or five girls. Um, and it says, assume that male and female births are equally likely and that the births are independent events. So we're not talking about uh, identical twins or anything like that. By the way, male and female births are not equally likely. Biologically, it's uh, somewhat more likely to have a female than a male. Uh, just uh, a separate aside remark. Uh, so it's not a 50-50 likelihood of having uh, a daughter is uh, more likely of happening. Not a great deal of difference in the probabilities, but there is a definite difference in the probabilities. I have two uh, children and they're both daughters and I'm very lucky. Um, I, I, I would tell you that um, those of you who uh, think about, you know, when you have children, you would like to have a son and so forth. Um, the men in the group, uh, I will tell you that having girls is wonderful as a father because when you get into an argument with your wife, the girls always come to your defense. <laughs> You're always the one that's right. Daddy's right, even when I'm not. So anyway, find the probability that uh, at least two girls in five births are going to be females, assuming you're the equal probabilities, and round your answer to four decimal places. The title of this problem kind of gives away the concept behind it. It's a binomial problem. Uh, this is a problem that involves a binomial distribution. So um, on the, uh, let's see if I have that in the PDF file. Here's the PDF file. Let's go down if I went through. And um, well, I, I just explained how the, um, how the problem's done. But the first thing you'd want to do is to um, ascertain if this is in fact a binomial probability distribution. And, and remember there's a, the way that you do that for a probability distribution is to ask the question, is there a constant fit? And the word constant means a constant probability from one birth to the next. And here the 50-50 equal likelihood tells us, yes, there is. Are there a fixed number of trials? That's the fit, right? The F in the word fit. There are five births, so that's the fixed number of trials. Are the birth of any one child independent from the birth of any other? And it says, assume that they are independent. So we're, we're not looking at identical twins or anything like that, or triplets or quadruplets. Um, so that's constant FIT, two possible outcomes, male or female. So where in this case, we, we could say uh, girl or not a girl. Um, and then uh, T, oh, and that's it, two possible outcomes. So that's constant fit. So this does fulfill the criteria for it being, this being a binomial probability distribution. So we'd be able to do this problem using the binomial uh, probability distributions on the calculator. Um, the key here is how do we find the probability of at least two girls in five births on the TI-83 or TI-84? And the way that that is done is using a distribution that is called a binomial probability distribution. And under the distribution button, going there, second distribution, um, and going up to or down to not the binomial PDF, that gives us the individual probability of an event. We want the cumulative probability. This is the function we're going to be using, the binomial cumulative distribution. 
the binomial CDF, binomial cumulative density function. The problem here is that this binomial cumulative this, uh, density function um, sums up cumulative being like your cumulative score in this uh, in this course. Uh, it sums up the probabilities starting with uh, the event zero. So it would take the event of zero uh, daughters in five plus one daughter in five plus two daughters in five. Uh, but we want not, and, and that would be the probability of at most, right? Uh, at most is two girls or less. We want the probability of two girls or more. Uh, so how do we get this to work? Now, on the TI-84 plus silver edition with bells and whistles, you might be able to do it in another way uh, with the input screen. But um, and uh, if, you, if you have a more advanced calculator than I have, good for you. It's excellent. Use it. Um, and uh, to do this kind of problem, um, it might be good to look on YouTube uh, and you can put in specifically uh, probability distribution of at least in uh, the YouTube search function and it, using the TI-84 plus silver edition or whatever. And it might, uh, you might uh, get some, uh, some good instructional videos on how to use your specific calculator to do that. But if uh, if if uh, you have a calculator like me, we're going to be using this binomial cumulative density function, but the way it's going to be used is as follows. And I'm going to go back to the home screen, second function, quit. And whenever we have at least, we're going to use uh, the idea of the complement of an event. So what is the complement of at least? Uh, five births of, uh, excuse me, of at least two girls in five births. Uh, well, the complement of that, the complement of two or three or four or five would be zero or one. So if we were to take the probability of all the events possible, uh, zero girls all the way up to five girls uh, in five births, if we take all those probabilities and subtract off the probability of zero or one, then we'd be left with the probability of two girls and five births. So this is uh, this is probably hard to fathom, but uh, I've uh, get this out of the way. I've tried to explain that here in this. Uh, in this uh, PDF file. So what you're looking at here is the um, probability histogram. In other words, we're looking at the event of zero births, zero girls in five births, one girl in five births, two girls in five births, three, four, and five girls in five births. And what we want to have is uh, we want to know what is the sum of these probabilities, two, three, four, or five. Uh, now, the calculator only sums up going in this direction using the binomial cumulative density function, the CDF. So since it only uh, sums up going from left to right, starting at zero, uh, what we do is to say, well, let's take everything. In other words, the sum of all these probabilities, because this is a probability distribution, we know is going to be equal to one. So the sum of all of these bars, so to speak, is one. And to be left with two, three, four, or five, we can subtract off uh, this much of it, zero and one, uh, from one. 100% probability here, everything, and be left with two or three or four or five. So the way that that gets done on the uh, 
TI-83 or TI-84 is to type in one, and I can do this on the calculator uh, since we got this uh, up. Uh, you type in one and then minus and use the blue minus key, not this negative key, minus. And now we would type in or select out the binomial CDF, right? The cumulative density function. So again, where that is under second distribution. And then you can scroll down, all the way down, 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 and whoop, past it. There it is. Binomial CDF. In it goes. Now the syntax for this is first of all the n, in other words, how many uh, events uh, in total are there, and there are five births, so this is a five. Then a comma, comma is above the number seven. Now the probability of the event of having a girl or having a boy, equal probability, we're saying 0.5, even though it's really not but that's okay. Uh, so the probability of a girl is 0.5. And now what we want to do, because we're going to be subtracting off everything up to this number that we're going to put in, is going to be not the number two, because that would leave us with three or four or five. We are going to be left with two, so we're going to subtract off everything up to one and including one. So we type in one, and we can close the parentheses or not. It doesn't matter. And when we press Enter, here we have our answer. So the, um, the correct answer for this uh, problem, 0.8125, we would put here 0.8125, and we check our answer, uh, we're correct. Now let's see, let's go back to the PDF here. And, uh, oh, what I, what I did here, I to get some of the things I do. Um, what I did here was, uh, it says in a binomial distribution, uh, word problems when you're asked to find the probability that at least a given number, let's say A, at least A, um, in our case, this was at least two, you always use uh, for at least, now this is concentrating on the word at least, you always use the 1 minus the binomial CDF, then N, which is the number of trials. In this case, that was five births. The probability of that event, probability of a girl in this case was 0.5. And then this last number that you have here is 1 subtracted from A. So here we had at least uh, 2 so we put in 2 minus 1, 1, which is what we put in over here. Um, if it had said at least 4, we would put in everything that you see here, except this last number would have been 4 minus 1 or 3. And that would have left us with the probability of 4 or 5 um, girls in um, in one birth, in uh, five births.